So, starting choice, I have Imp Master or Lava Burst. Uh, I love Imp Master. I don't think Lava Burst is that good. It's kind of tempting to take Nurbian Egg, but Imp Master is actually good. Brewmaster, it's fine. Uh, Bloodlust or Warlord, Warlord's good in these token making classes. Flame Tongue or Zombie Chow. Totem, but I'm really tempted to take Chow. Fork to Lightning is okay. Hmm, Wind Fury or Torn Warrior? Probably Wind Fury. Mad Scientist? No. Questing Adventure. It's fine in a shaman deck with low cost cards. Abusive gets the totems. More like Tide Hunter. Imp Master or Mana Tide. Imp Master. Raging Organ. Nah. Earthen Ring or Bloodfin. Earthen Ring is the better card, but I have one two drop so far. And I'll need more than that. And I have uh, two Imp Masters, which encourage further me have early game plays to secure the board slightly. Go with the Tiger, some reasonable late game ish cards. Ooh, Direwolf Alpha. Better in Shaman, but I still like the Scarlet Crusader more. Fire Elemental, Lightning Bolt. Spellbreaker, Yeti, Fairy Dragon, or Bloodfin. Probably Fairy. Over the Bloodlust, since I need more early game drops. Do I have any synergy with Echoing Ooze? I do not. It's still fine even without any synergy, though. But BGH might be better. Actually, I do need two drops. Uh, I currently have one, two, three minion types. Given I have Imp Master, it further encourages me to build earlier game. So I'm gonna go with the Echoing Youth. Two mana, I get two one twos. That's fine. Silverhand Knight. Could use some uh, late game also. I've already got one Fork Lightning. I think having more is not so good. I'll choose the Brew. Lightning Storm. Fantastic. Shattered Sun. That's uh, great. Also, with that going, Ooze Axe is great. Now I have too many two drops. The Spiteful. Uh, since I have so many early game cards, Mana Tide Totem is going to be protected most time since I will control the board early. Oh boy. I actually don't have anything big to Ancestral Spirit other than the one Fire Elemental. Oh, that's a great set of cards here. And actually rather tricky. So it's between Flame Tongue and Hex. Hex is really good. Flame Tongue though, in this deck, this deck is very low curve. So I'll usually have the board control. Ooh, it's so difficult. In most decks it's an easy hex, especially since I have one flame tongue. In this deck though, the choice is real. I think flame tongue is like one of the most important cards in this deck. And I see Flame Tongue Totem basically being the best card in this deck. I'll just use Flame Tongued stuff to kill stuff. Tough call. Hey, a third Imp Master to cement my Flame Tongue Totem pick. Okay. Whew. So we've got a very um, light in the late game deck. Late game cards, only five of them. Skipped a hex to pick a flame tongue totem in order to take advantage of the Imp Master factory, which I have three of, and the Tide Hunter and the Ooze. I actually think this deck is good. It's got no weak plays in it. No, no plays that are that weak. It's got a Wind Fury finisher kind of for one of these guys. Uh, triple Imp Master really encouraged. Uh, really encourages me playing a two drop, which I should be able to do most of the time. Uh, I like this deck. I'm going to guess 10 wins. 
This deck would be pretty good with a Bloodlust, but when you don't have Bloodlust, Flame Tongue Totem is just as good, if not better. I'd take the Flame Tongue Totem over the Bloodlust easily. Your soul shall be mine for Doomhammer. One, two, three, probably. All right. I can protect the adventure under the might of the Raptors and the Axe. Okay, flame them. Um, Coin Axe doesn't quite work out. Coin Raptor, iffy, but fine. For those who are greedy enough to keep coin from the questing adventure, even I do not have that level of greed. Oh good, he attacked past. That was the dream for me. We're like tight on her. Plus random murloc. Uh, given that my hand is going to deplete itself very quickly, probably good to get some totems going each turn. That's the way to draw out my resources. Also, it saves the raptor for the questing if I want to play those two together. If. This time for sure. What? Wow. That actually might be a buff. That's how much I disrespect summoning for him. Alright, so Frostal Forelord is going to be pretty big here. But, if I do Shadow Stone Cleric on this, I can make another totem. Or I could do Shadow Stone Cleric on this and then save a 3-1. Mm -hmm. This is a tough call. A lot of good options. Try to get that totem each turn though. Okay, this might change things. We must yeah, cleanse not that the sun well. It might have been too greedy to not play Frostle forward there. Thankfully, it paid off. Two, three, six, eight, eleven. I'm gonna continue down Greedsville here. Population Trump. He didn't have Hellfire, so. He'll probably not magically get it. I mean, there's actually no reason to not have secured the win of Frostal Forelord, though. I guess I'm practicing for games which are later. I mean, in the case of Hellfire, he sets him. That's actually still lethal. So but he also doesn't have it because he didn't play last turn. But I'm not going to deny that Frostal Forelord wins a higher percentage chance at the time. The elements will destroy you. Alright, so I got the fairy dragon into the imp master. I was tempted to try to mulligan for another two drop. Oh, nice. Okay. There's actually a difference between playing uh, Bloodfen Raptor and Fairy Dragon. One can be lightning bolted and the other can't. And I figure since this is his turn two, his uh, desire to play lightning bolt isn't very high right now.
Fork Lightning Nightmare. What can you do, though? You could play Totem there, but I think that's paranoia. Alright, Flame Tongue. Let's do some work. That's great value for this, uh, Bloodfen Raptor. Trades into a wonderful card. Start getting this totem value. Next turn I can play Imp Master and Totem for true value. Flame Tongue Totem is just so powerful. If it's not removed. Nice. A very efficient way to clear the Sledge Vulture also. Flame Tongue Totem doing serious work. It's basically done the equivalent of adding. I don't know how much damage it's added, but it's a lot. Imp Production Factory is online. Fire Elemental is good for him right now. He can take out the Flame Tongue, but unfortunately for him, I have Flame Tongue number two. This is kind of the dream outcome of this deck. I would press the totem button, but I unfortunately have no follow-up play. On a random note, it's very important to play your Imp Master on the left side of the flame tongue down. Hit, hit, play totem. I have one, two, three, four, five minions. And then mana tie totem. That's my board is nice to protect. Let the dark in. My board is uh, starting to really suck, but. A board that sucks and is full, is still better than no board. Shields up! Hit and lightning bolt that. Hit, hit. Can I deal three? Actually, four, five, six, seven. Is there a way to clear this board? I can do a total of 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12 damage, and that is... T t but it's so hard to deal the exact correct amount of damage here. It's actually impossible. Isn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's possible. Feel the power of the wind. crushed. Alright, fire into the 3-3. Three, three. And I kill this with the remainder. Continues to fish. Feel the power. Oh, 
killed it before I got the brewmaster on the left. Okay, so I could Wind Fury. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, 14 damage to his face if I choose Shattered Wind Fury. That looks pretty good. 3 5. I, I should play a questing adventure with that. It'll be a 4 4, which is out of range of his stuff. Give me a quest. We must cleanse the Sunwell. I should probably have checked to see whether I died of bloodlust. Three, six, seven, nine, um, eleven. So basically, Bloodlust is adding 18. 21, 24, 25, 27, 29. I think uh, Bloodlust would be one short of lethal. So, right? 3, 6, 7, 9, 11. And then Bloodlust is 18. So that's 29 damage. Should have considered the worst case. For Argus. He is actually winning right now. Uh -oh. Wow. Squire, attend me. Not ready, sir. can again clear my board, though uh, he'll be pretty wounded. That healing totem is really strong for him. <sighs> Perhaps I should have cleared his unbanned elemental. I mean, he did top deck a flame tongue there. Or, I mean, a fire early. And or a wolf rider. Ah, scary, scary. <laughs> I have drawn a lot of cards, though, and I know I have a lightning storm in this deck. What else is good? <sighs> oh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Two, five, eight, ten, probably. Darn. Three. Oh man, that was the dark end. exquisite. Alright, well, thank goodness. Job done. I think somehow I managed to pull this ridiculously in my favorite game to on the verge of losing. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I'll put it on your tab. Job's done. Much love for the Imp Master. Probably better to tight hunters right on there. No, this is better against Lightning Storm. Whatever. Well played. <laughs> Alright. Uh, tough first game. I mean, that was a really dominating early game. I'm really surprised that I almost lost. Oh, not the first game. I guess the first game was too easy. I couldn't remember it. I must protect the one. For Doomhammer. Alright, and I do have to have stuff before playing the Imp Master. It's very important to actually have a board presence. Imp Master is one of those cards where if you play it into an empty board, it's good. 
you played into something. It's not an empty board, it's really bad. Job done. Unstable Ghoul is very good against Scarlet Crusader, but I did get a Fork Lightning. I'll still play it. Unstable Ghoul must be one of the best answers to Scarlet Crusader. It's one of the few two drops that can take out the three drop. Very reluctant to play it. Time for the uh, Imp Master Factory to come online. We are open for business. <laughs> Healing totem would be really good, and I would try for it if I had anything to play. Unfortunately, I do not. The frost will <laughs> shall not fall. Looks like I'll have to do this old school. Beat him up with standard shaman tactics. Standard challenge. Let's beat him up with stuff. The gates are open. Alright, so probably better for me to. It's worse for this to get silenced, so this card might actually be worse than this card. Uh, once it gets to the 6 health point, it doesn't really matter, anyways. 3 plus 2 is we 5, and then the I'll sunwell. probably want to start getting the totems going. So I may be confused as to why I would rather keep a 7-6 instead of a 7-7. The answer is this card is less bad when silenced. Well played. I can see. Well played. I must protect the wild. For Doomhammer! Alright, this uh, hand is unfortunate. Very good supporting crew, but not good to start with. This, on the other hand, is an interesting hand. And taste the mana. His mana addict can kill one of the Murloc Tide Hunters. Go with the ooze. Well, that's really good. Drew a wrath. Well, kind of reasonable. Unfortunately, Mana Badict can take out my guys and his hero ability. My hand is really terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, we fire. Please don't kill my 1 1. Oh, Fork Lightning would have been huge. That is somewhat disciplined to take it out. Come on, spell damage to him. Ugh. 
Okay, well the Wind Fury is going to be really good on the Tiger. Uh, since it can kill the Yeti and the Ghoul. I'm just going to have to take a little bit of damage this turn though. Where shall I start? Uh. Okay, so I'm going to have to hit the bear with the forked lightning. Do I want a totem first? No, because otherwise I can't play spiteful. If this fork lightning doesn't hit this, I'm kind of doomed anyways. One, three, I guess since the plan is Wind Fury and Imp Master is really bad, I go for the totem anyways. Okay, well now I can hopefully hit the ghoul with this. Well, that was the dream. I would be so lucky. Oh my gosh. That went perfectly. Alright, since he has nothing to threaten the Imp Master currently, should be fine to play it. I am not a morning He might have been thinking about shooting his own Berserker. That would have been an interesting play. It would not actually be a good play, but it would be an interesting play. The light protects me. Alright, so 6-6 six, six into 5-6 six seems really good. And then I'll probably brew it back and then play it again. That's the value. Uh, which means I could then also play a Flame Tongue Totem, which would allow me to kill the 4-2 with the 1-2. That's really good. So that's 2-4-9. Uh, Drink with me, friend. The frost will stand <laughs> Not out of the woods yet. But it's looking a lot better than a zero percent chance of winning. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Fun, 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 fun. Ooh. Not anymore. That is extremely obnoxious. I am not a morning person. No. Do a replacement. It's when this trade is too good for him. And I anticipate this being better later. Hmm. Alternative well play would have been to oh my. alternative play would have been to like brew a totem or something. 
that actually would have also been reasonable since this play is uh, significantly slower. But slow is fine since he's at such a high life total. It's going to be a bit of a tough choice to clear the uh, harvest or not. I will do it. It's an imp master party in here. <laughs> Darno not getting a healing totem. Where shall I strike? So I got my three guys going to the 4-3. Yeah. Looks to be about it. Don't want the 1-1 one, one toad. So Ready, sir. What you looking at? In the light's name. Not lethal yet. That probably means I should clear. Nine Just gotta dodge Deathwing here. Uh, okay, still lethal, currently. No, oh, nice. All right, well, that's easy lethal now. Uh, if you insist. be setting up my 15 minute delay now so I'm going to be off for 15 minutes you asked for it for Doomhammer. whoa what the silent storm yeah right, well this is a really good start an excellent opening hand I could have considered replacing Scarlet Crusader I've actually been. Oh no, no, since I had to play that one first. If he has to fire blast, fire blast, it's a good opening for me. Since I get to Imp Master. It's really good to get Imp Master out of this empty board. That's good. Fairy Dragon cannot be Fire Blast. <laughs> Let's go with a double Imp Master. The nightmare for him. It's very scary to have. This is like the snowball card. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty snowbally. Oh wow. Yeah. Alright, fine.
let the dark in. <laughs> Not necessarily bad for me. Join or die. Flame Strike would be okay here since I have Shattered Wind Fury. I will have to worry about playing anything from here on out though. Since any of these cards will die to Flame Strike. Uh, Flame Tongue Totem. Is that worth it here? I'd deal an extra 4 damage to him this turn. Not really essential right now. If it's copy a guy, then Flame Tongue is really good right now. But to kill a big guy, Flame Tongue would be really good also. Might be best just to not trigger anything this turn. Shad Sun Cleric on this would allow me to get an extra imp. Right now, this is kind of low value for Flame Strike, anyways. And if it triggers the, uh, copy a guy, I'll use the 2 1 1s. We must cleanse the sun well. Join or die. <laughs> ah, crap. Totem is better than the random one. one. Darn. I know it's, uh, either have something to do with spells or duplicate or ice block. I doubt it's ice block. I do have lethal if Wind Fury actually goes off. So that would be 5, 7, uh, 5, 10, 12. So I actually should check for, um, counter spell with this. Really weak play, but... If it gets countered, I'll be really good. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm in Spellbender. No, that's okay, my guy gets Wind Fury. That's not really good. Okay. Should kill his guy, because otherwise, if I blast my totem, yeah, and then he kills my guy. He's really low. All right. I feel uneasy. I can lose from here. Spellbender of all cards. Okay. Slowly crawling towards him. The gates are open. I'll show them. I'll show silence. them all. Oh crap! Oh, that's right. I should have silenced this the last. No, oh, okay. Well, all right. Good enough. Oh right, this is uh, this is arena. I was like, wow, this is a okay. So get rid of all that. Hmm. Oh, 
There you go with the sand. Let the pain speak uh, to me. All right, so probably place Scarlet Crusader as the only thing which kills that in one shot. Don't want a lightning bolt yet. Master Lightning Bolt is a fine follow-up. Next turn I will have four mana. I can play Flame Tongue Totem and Normal Totem and get this factory moving. Okay. Uh, Flame Tongue Totem for me, I think. Well, it's kind of iffy. I hope I draw a Yeti. Like Magnus, you're pretty good too. You might even be better than Yeti. It's like in totem with it. Excellent position to abuse Flame Tongue Totem. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> uh, Fire Elemental is best here. Unless he plays another guy, in which case Flame Tongue might be better. Fire Elemental. Where shall I strike? Okay, uh, just attacking here is pretty good. Hopefully I get a healing totem. That'll be really big because, oh, youthful. That's excellent also. Now I don't have to rely on our... Drink with me, friend. Fire Lens has a nice battle cry also. Just me and Mr. Fight! For the crusade! Alright, break that with the slime, um, then probably kill it with fire Ellie. This kills that, no, this kills that. Maybe this kills, no, no, no. Bam, bam, fourth, uh, bam, bam, hmm. four, three, bam. No, I don't have the mana for that. I think I'll have to leave a two, one open. No, I don't have to, but probably recommend it to do so. So that means I'll go totem. I wonder if there's any merit to it. It does play around mind control tech. And it basically, it loses me three damage, but three damage is unlikely to. Like, this is the safety play. It's the safety play. The risk reward is I get in three damage, almost always for free. But sometimes it could be catastrophic. Your magic shall not save you. I should actually place this thing over here. Your magic shall not save you. We must cleanse the Sunwell. My shield for Argus! Alright, do I have lethal on him? That's 1, 5, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That's lethal. Exact lethal, perhaps. Oh no, because he can hit one of my guys. Ugh. So I have 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14? 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, no, I only have, nah. not yet, because the flame tongues can't double stack. 
Give me a quest. Well played. I can see that. Move. 